Алоха, с вами Sword Flame. Ну что, пишите в комментариях, кто думал, что следующий рут будет с Вэл, потому что именно с ней я и буду проходить следующий рут, он же рут креветки. В первом прохождении я увидел весь первый ад с ней и все первые четыре специальные сцены. Поэтому начинаем этот труд уже с пятой специальной сцены, а дальше уже пойдет второй сюжетный акт с ней. Итак, начинаем. Nice to see you again. Oh, hey, Amy. Same as last time, snappers are as fresh as ever. Hold the snappers for now. I'm thinking of getting real creative today. Give me some of that blade fish I've been hearing so much about. No problem. Squire training? Y yes! Uh, sorta. Of. Anyway, that doesn't matter! A Amy! You, you you know this girl? Why, of course! Who else do you think I've been buying all my fish from? All this time, you've been dealing with the target. I'm right here, you know. You may have caught me this time! But mark my words, Phil. I'll be back! I... I didn't even do anything. Wait, but my fish! Bro, what the hell are you doing? I need your help, sis. I need info on Val. But, but why are you asking? What's gotten into you? Oh. Oh. Bro, do, do you like her? What? N no! Uh, are you sure? I mean, I'm just asking. I mean, she's a nice girl. Th that's fine and all that. Y yeah. That's not it at all. Look, it's, uh, for my squire duties. <laughs> I was asked to spy on her. Spy on her? Whoa, so it's like some secret mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go with that. Hmm, interesting. Sounds pretty cool. What's in it for me? I'll, uh, treat you to one of those fancy overpriced coffee shops in town. Oh, good enough. You got yourself a deal. Тут стоит отметить, что я еще заметил в руте с Эми в новой игре плюс. Нам дается x2 очков. То есть гораздо проще поднимать отношения. x2 очков должно быть еще в казуальном режиме игры. То есть там вроде бы нет боев. 
Но, в принципе, я-то игру проходил не на нем. И, соответственно, новая игра плюс, по идее, у меня тоже, значит, не на нем. Но в нем дается x2 очков, хотя об этом я не видел, чтобы указывалось в гайдах, где я смотрел таблицу по очкам отношений. Может быть, я что-то упустил. Может быть, просто авторы не указали эту информацию. Но, тем не менее, это так. Ну что ж, продолжаем дальше. How it is. Thanks, Vel. Yeah, glad I could help. Five minutes later, my friend leaves. Target. Ah, uh, how long is she going to stand in front of that dress shop? Oh. She did the same thing last week and the week after that. Bro, are you done? Come on, let's go home. I'm done drinking coffee. Uh, drink some more? But bro, we've been doing that for an hour already. What are we even doing here? Your treat is nice and all, but I got chores, you know? Shh, 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 shh. I'm on a mission. Well, wrap it up fast, cause old Bessie ain't- Oh, Cozy aren't welcome here! Just, just, just on the the Oh, it's them again. Huh? Again? Yeah, their group's been going around the town lately. Something about recruiting people. Smells like trouble if you ask me. Say it loud, say it clear! How comes the Lord welcome here? here? You! Hey, hey, you! You're also from Bordimer, right? I... yeah. Great. We need you. Um... I... Here, we're gathering next week again at the... N no Huh? What do you mean? Weren't you from Bordimer? Y yes but... I'm sorry. I'm just a merchant. I don't want to get involved in this kind of stuff. Wait, we're, we're not yet... Bro, I think we should go. I don't want us getting mixed up with those folks. Come on, we've got chores. Dad wants us to... Yeah, 
yeah, you go ahead. I'll catch up. Damn it! I already lost her! I'll see you at home, sis! Hey! Where are you running off to? I'm on to something big! Later! Something big? Yeah, like the trouble you'll be in when I tell Dad! Bro! I swear she made a turn here! <sighs> you never give up, do you? Huh? running away from this bell. Millie. Alcos owes us, my child. Us and the hundreds who perished in Bordemer. It was their pirates that ravaged our town and they did nothing in the aftermath. It's about time they own up to it. Yes, I know. I was there, Matilda. Want us to do? Do you think they still want us to avenge them? Even after we've already retaken Bordemer years ago? When does it end, Millie? When when do we stop? Until justice has been given to them. They deserve more, my child, after what those savages did to them. I cannot rest until Alcos gives us what we're due. To this day, I can still hear their cries whenever I close my eyes. Can you not hear them as well? I... I do. I still do, Millie. Every night. Then you understand why we cannot stop. I... yeah. Then come, my child. It's about time for our rounds. Thanks to the Marshal's absence, we're... I suppose leaving before he's conscious is too much to hope for. Holy fertility god falls! It really talks! W wait! You're mistaken! This isn't. You are mistaken! Sir Grant's armor is talking! N no! It's not the armor! That's not it at all! I'm totally not the armor! You're just hearing things! You see. That means you're Sir Grant! Oh. My. God! You're the reason I wanted to be a squire, you know that? I wanted to be strong because of you! I. Millie, what are we gonna... Hush, child! Millie? What's wrong? Did you hear that? Uh, guys? What's going on?
Don't be stupid. We're not like that. Oh my god! It's the girl! I've half a mind to just leave him here. We'll figure out what to do with him later. Look. Keep calm. Keep an eye on my opponents. Do not falter. Yeah. Good. Go get it. Right. Yeah. to a tree. I'm not! Help me here! It's not too late to end his life, my child. We have no witnesses here. Millie! You know we can't do that! Well, you have to do something about him. How do we know he's not going to say anything? This is the second time, and he's been following us around since the first. J just leave this to me, Matilda. Matilda? Is that the armor's name? I didn't know her name. Sweet! Uh, no. She's not really... Uh, Matilda's just the spirit living inside the armor. <gasps> like some kind of possession? Uh, yeah, sort of. That can be a thing? Sweet! He's an interesting boy. I'd give him that. She's... Sir Grant's possessed armor is talking to me. He's talking to me! Hi, nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. And... Okay, okay, stop. Look, dummy, you listen good, okay? I'll make you a deal. R really? Oh, sure, anything. Yeah, just, just ask it, Al. Please start by shutting your mouth. No one can know about this. Got it? If any word of this gets out, Sir Grand's reputation will... Uh, um... Suffer? Yeah, that! Do you understand now? Uh, I can't tell anyone. Not even old Bessie. Who? My cow! Oh, you should meet her. She's also a big fan of yours. No, you're not telling anyone about this. No one. Not even your stupid cow, got it? Aww. If you do, we'll know, and... and... we'll... we'll... Um... Dump him in Lake Cerulea. Yeah, that's right. We'll dump you in Lake Cerulea and... and... Feed you to the 
wishes. Okay, sure. Huh? Okay. You're agreeing? D just like that? As Sir Grand's number one fan, it's my duty to protect her reputation. And you called it a deal, so... <laughs> What's in it for me? At least he's not as dumb as he looks. train with you and train with you afterwards huh win win right I... Millie it's your decision child although I doubt he'd stop bothering us after this even if you say no either way the moment you chose to spare him he became your responsibility. That's what it takes. Woohoo! You won't regret this. I promise. I'll work really, really hard and. Hmm? What's this? Wait. Ah, no! Did you do it over there? Five minutes later, weird friend leaves and target. Huh? What the? a bunch of fruits for lunch today. For a shrimp, she has a really big appetite. Th this is... She visits that dress shop a lot. Does she want to buy something? My, how observant. I... No, I... I can explain. Hey, give the bag! <laughs> uh, Sir Grand, do you, uh, mind untying my hands? I can't feel them anymore. You know what? Why don't we start with your training today? Uh, are you sure? Don't you have other things to do? Oh, yeah, I'm very sure. Besides, any trainee of ours should be able to untie a simple knot. Right, Millie? <laughs> of course. Hey, hold on a sec! So, I'll see you later. Report to me as soon as you untie yourself from that tree. Good luck, Squire! Come on, Millie. Let's get ready. We've got rounds. Wait! Ха-ха, это была прекрасная сцена. Я, в принципе, еще в первом самом прохождении уже догадывался, что она и есть сэр Грам, поскольку у нее красные волосы. Мы знали, что у нее большая сила. У сэра Гранда за шлемом были видны красные волосы. И мы знаем, что это самый сильный воин Кайрулии вроде как. Поэтому догадаться было, в принципе, несложно. Но вот кто такая Матильда, почему доспех живой, это мы узнаем, естественно, я думаю, позже по ее сюжетной ярке.
How are you doing? Uh-huh. Wait, is that? Yes, unfortunately it is. What? It, it still talks? Well, yeah. You see, Millie here gets all lonely when I go to work during the day. Lonely? More like bored. Spend nine hours sitting still in the armory and you'll know what I mean. Well, the point is, it's easier for the both of us if I just bring around her helmet like this. That way, Millie doesn't get bored, and I have someone I can talk to. Without the inconvenience of lugging around a huge suit of armor. Yep, best of both worlds. <laughs> a talking grand helmet. That's... That's too cool! Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Squire, there is only so much dignity I can afford to lose. So please... Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so what did you want to talk about? Hi. So, need any interesting people around town? Hmm. Oh, your sister Amy seems nice. She always buys fish from me. Oh, and she really likes the Cerulean salmon. Yeah, she's been trying different ways to cook that lately. Glad she likes it. Come to think of it, she's got a stall at the plaza, right? Yep. You should drop by sometime. I really should one of these days. I'm looking forward to trying some of that apple pie people keep talking about. Been training? Oh, about the people around town. Oh, well, there's Princess Beatrice. She's always so nice to us. She always offers me pastries. I always have to refuse, though. You know, gotta keep up the strong knight image since stuffing a cream puff down my helmet would look kind of silly. Oh, yeah. If I may add, I do appreciate our horseback riding sessions with her. She also has the soul of a warrior, that one. You can see it in the way she rides. Posture firm, eyes straight ahead. Whoa. I always knew Sir Gran was sworn to protect the princess. But it sounds like you guys are pretty close. Well, not exactly. Though we are her champion, we make sure to keep it professional. Yeah. Also... It's probably for the best she doesn't find out about the whole magic armor thing. Makes our job simpler. Been training? Oh, I thought of someone else, Squire. Oh. That nurse at the infirmary. She visits my fish stall sometimes. She looks for the strange types of fish, and she doesn't care about the taste. She says it's for research. Should I be worried? 
maybe a little bit. <laughs> Just don't go drinking any mysterious potions she offers you, and you should be fine. Why do you sound so nervous? Do you think she's going to create some sort of fish monster? Because if that's the case, I'm out of here. <laughs> Surely a mad alchemist fish monster is no match for the strength of Sir Grant. That's true. But, but still, a giant fish with scales and bulging eyes? That would be so scary. Sir Grant versus a mad nurse's fish monster! That sounds amazing. Oh, can that be the title of your next Sir Grant book? Next book? There are more? Well, yeah, you didn't know. There's a whole series about your nightly exploits. What? No one ever told us that. There's even a choose your own adventure one, where the readers get to go on a date with the dashing and strong Sir Grand. What? No! Just who is this author? No one's ever asked us for permission. We want royalties. Hmm. Perhaps we should visit the library one of these days. What? Don't tell me you're interested, Millie. You must see her all the time. Princess Kamala, she's... And how cozy. Millie, he's friends with her. Let's not... All the more that he should know. The Alkozi are not to be trusted. Pirates and liars, the lot of them. Oh. I... I never knew you felt that way, Matilda. No, it's... it's okay. No need to get fired up, Millie. Sorry, she doesn't mean it. Look, let's just change the subject. How about boss? Seems like he really appreciates how you bring in all the customers. You know, with all the bar fights. I'm pretty sure the guy sells tickets. He's real nice. I know I can seem like a pretty tough girl in the tavern. But even then, he always takes some time off to ask me how I am. I appreciate that. Last I heard, doesn't he also arrange your drinking contests? Yep. I've earned quite a bit of gold thanks to him. I knew it!
All right then. You said you wanted to train? Yes, sir, Greg! I get so hyped! Very well. In that case, let's start with a sparring match. I want to see how you fare in combat. But before we start... Vel, we best take off the armor. Oh, right! Huh? Why? try to take you on at full power, well... <laughs> Best we avoid breaking your spine on the first day of training, boy. Ah, I see. Good point. Though, actually, there's another reason. Vel, I think this might also be a good opportunity for you to sharpen your skills without the armor. After all, you never know when you'll be caught off guard without it. That's true. Just think of this as an extension of your previous training. Got it, Millie. Okay, both of you. Let's start with the basics. I want you to... Um... What? What is it? So, uh, Matilda, when Bell's not wearing you, you just sort of sit there? Yes, as strong as I am, without Bell to move me around. I am simply a stationary suit of armor. <laughs> Doesn't this feel... I don't know... Weird? Creepy? Like, Sir Grand's armor. Just sort of watching us? Nah, you'll get used to it. Alright, now back on track. We start with the basics. Simple hand-to-hand -hand combat. Begin now! Alright, it's finally time for that rematch I've always wanted! It's time we finally had our match. Now, I'll show you my secret squire techniques. What was that? I was kind of going for a cool looking roundhouse kick. Your poor balance leaves you vulnerable. You put all your weight onto one leg. Your timing is also off. You started your attack before Vel was even close. And let's not even talk about your form. Practically non-existent. Um, it might also help if you stop talking in the middle of battle. Announcing your secret squire techniques makes it really easy to predict your movements. But... but that's the coolest part about fighting. <sighs> we have a long way to go. Been training? I just realized. You has no idea who you guys are. Yeah. It's always so awkward every time I bump into him. Like, I know the guy since we're both knights, but when I'm out of the armor, he doesn't recognize me. Sometimes he stops by and buys some fish from my stall, humming to himself. Other times, he tries to start up a conversation. When that happens, I honestly don't know what to say to him. Well, track a fish bun or something. Or talk about how his squire is the most attractive and talented man in the kingdom. <laughs> Trust me, he'll love it. <laughs> As if. I'm not your spokesperson. If you want to boost your rep, do it yourself, silly. Hey there, how you doing? So, Vel, 
What exactly do you do for fun? Got any hobbies? Well, I like fishing. It's kind of fun. It also trains one's patience. Just like in a real fight, one must wait for the enemy to strike. <gasps> That's so good for you! The Hammer of Justice is always ready! No, don't encourage her. I fish so I can take my mind off of battle. Millie, why'd you gotta make everything about killing stuff? Do not fool yourself. Fishing is killing stuff. Most things involve bloodshed. Best get used to it, child. She has a point. <sighs> you guys just don't get it. Got any other hobbies? Oh, Millie and I play Kingsboard all the time. Oh, I know that. That's the game where you have to move around squire and knight pieces so you can capture the other guy's king. Yep, it's one of the few things that we can do together without people staring at us weird. Indeed. <sighs> Though Val here has the bad habit of always choosing the white pieces. What's wrong with that? You put yourself at a tactical disadvantage by letting your enemy know your first move. In a real battle, the one who reacts is the one who wins. Not to mention your use of the knight pieces. I don't understand why you move them so often. But I think knights are cool. They can jump over things. They lack the board control of the other pieces. Just because they are called knights doesn't mean they necessarily reflect the strength of their real-world counterparts. Oh, I had no idea the game is that intense. I just always thought it was cool to feel like you were commanding an army. The King's Board is a test of intellect, a thought exercise meant to train soldiers in strategy. It is not enough to simply feel cool. Oh, okay. I remember that. Tell you. <laughs> As expected of Sir Grant. Seriously, just give up. Damn it! Give me a few minutes! Oh, the next round! You couldn't even handle your liquor! <laughs> but look at me talk like I'm any different. <gasps> what are you talking about? N nothing! You're just hearing things. C come on! Since you're so determined to lose again, let's just get the next round started. The bottom's up! talking or no well yes but is 
it so bad that I wanna... Uh, I wanna be like her? Oh, I can't do this anymore. Do what? You know what? <gasps> Acting tough. Getting into uh, fights with these, uh, the, these drunk louts. Drinking ale day and night. Just like, uh, just like she told me she used to do back home. But, but I don't want to hurt people. I don't even like ale. It tastes awful. I thought, I thought if I could be like that too, I could be like Millie. I could be strong. But y you're, you're already, um, you know who. Who? Who are you talking about? You, you twat? You know, Sir Grand. Aren't you already strong? Shh, not so loud. And don't call me that when I'm not wearing the armor. Oh, right. Shh. That wasn't me. That wasn't me at all. It's all just Millie. It's all uh, her. I'm just, I'm just helping, <gasps> helping her out. That armor can't move without me, so I have to help. Do you <gasps> understand now? I lost a lot of things that day, all right? So I have to be strong. Like, like Millie strong, got it? But doing it like this, doing it every day, I don't even know if I'm still... If I'm still... <gasps> well, okay, you say so. And if you ask me, I think you're fine on your own. Huh? What are you going on about? You wanna fight? No! I mean, do you really think you need to be like... Everyone, please settle down. We're just here to talk. Oh, is that guy again? My fellow Cerulians, our cries and plea continue to fall on deaf ears. The crown refuses to listen. The solution. We need a louder voice. One they cannot ignore. Please, if you care about this kingdom, our kingdom, Join us! What happened in Fortimer must not be forgotten! Wow, he sure sounds way too enthusiastic for something he called just talk. Come on, Squire, let's get out of here. Huh? Wait, are you sure you can walk? I do want to rest for a bit. I'll make it. I just don't really feel comfortable around those guys. Hey, you kids over there! Please, we just need a moment of... Oh, you're that girl. I... I'm sorry. I really don't want to get involved in this. Well, what about the people you lost? Think about them. Don't you want justice for them? Uh, of course I do, but... Then isn't this your chance? It's about time we hold these all cozy scum responsible. What do you mean by that? Are you saying we should just forget everything? No, I... And just let those scum take advantage of us again? That isn't what I... While our people fight their war. Please, I'm only... I don't think so.
My son didn't survive Bordemer, only to die in a war defending those godless heathens who sit comfortably in their homes. We want justice! Out! We want accountability! And we sure as hell want to see those bloody incompetent nobles do something for once! Hey! Ow, ow, ow! Well, you okay? It's an accident, I swear! Aren't you going to say anything? Hey, mister. Don't you think you've said enough? I'm only telling the truth. I'd bet even someone like Sir Grand wouldn't let that kind of bullshit happen. And she's also from Bordemer! Did you even see how they cut down every single one of us? Uh, hey, Vel. I think that's... Do you even know how it's like to fight for your life and to see everything around you fall apart? My whole family also died in that pirate raid, so don't you dare tell me! Vel, cut it out! Huh? What... What happened? Oh no. I... I'm sorry. That wasn't... I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Wait! What... What was that? Итак, на этом моменте я это видео закончу. Как мы видим, прошлое Вэлл связано с Бордемиром и жителями Алкаса, вероятно, которые вырезали, возможно, ее город или деревню, где она была, и ей удалось выжить. Возможно, после этого или где-то там она нашла эти доспехи которые связаны с Матильдой. Но мы пока еще не знаем, кто такая Матильда. Но события начинают набирать оборот. Все же уже второй акт. А в третьем уже она должна пойти жара. Если будет точно так же, как было в Руте Эмили. Ну что ж. На этом моменте я это видео закончу. Если оно вам понравилось, поставьте лайк. Поделитесь им с друзьями и знакомыми. Пишите ваши комментарии. А с вами был Swordflame. Всем пока.